Okay, Javier, I'm going to show you one good use for an Atari testing joysticks. But to do that, you need a FujiNet or some other SD disk storage. Um, this is uh, just my own little breadboard with some buttons for testing a joystick. And uh, you need a power supply and a monitor cable and a monitor. And uh, so the Atari doesn't have these beautiful little Apple CH joysticks, which give you a 255 by 255 resolution. And for games, you just put, pop the springs into place. So now here's how you have to boot that Atari 800 with a FujiNet. You have to hold down the start button while you turn on, well, you have to have the FujiNet turned on first. Then you turn on the Atari, and when you hold the start button, you don't get this, you get this blank screen, then you have to hit system reset, and it's gonna load the FujiNet. Okay, then it's gonna search for a wireless, but I'm gonna skip that. And then you, it's looking for an image on my SD card, so I'm gonna hit tab to go to the bottom, and then you have to hit the option key to mount that and boot it, and then you can type DOS to see a directory of your disk, your floppy disk, D for a disk directory. Oops, don't, <laughs> don't use D for a disk directory, uh-oh. Okay, return for menu, type A for a disk directory, hit enter, a return, and there you see a joystick test program. So you type B, not to go to basic to run the cartridge. Okay, now uh, you type load, and then you need a quote. You need a D1 colon, and then uh, joytest.bas. You need the BAS extension, and then you can list it, and then you can run it. And this program came from an Atari basic tutorial book. And now you can test your joystick. So you can move right, you can move left, you can move up, you can move down, you can move up and right, and then uh, down and left, uh, down and right, and down, oh, you need to up and left, and uh, you've tested it in your fire button. I modified the program to show a star when you hit the fire button. Okay, you could test that fire button and other combinations, and then you can make the program crash. So that's the good of an Atari 800.